2100 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The Prime Minister has unequivocally reiterated the government's resolve to not put burden of increased electricity bills on the people. The foreign minister says the American president has demanded of India to play a positive role in the region and extend a hand for the promotion of regional peace and stability. <music> Qatar has invited Pakistan to attend the peace signing deal between the United States and the Afghan Taliban in Doha on Saturday. <music> the American president has again offered to mediate between Pakistan and India on the Kashmir dispute. have been killed in protests against the controversial citizenship amendment law in New Delhi. The United Nations Security Council has reiterated its call for a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The eighth match of the Pakistan Super League 2020 will be played between Multan Sultans and Peshawar Zalmi in Multan tomorrow. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has unequivocally reiterated the government's resolve not to put burden of increased bills of electricity on the people. Briefing the media regarding the federal cabinet meeting in Islamabad today, the special assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Pradosh Ashik Awan, said the Prime Minister directed that people should not suffer due to gaps in the generation and supply of electricity. She said the cabinet was apprised that decisions taken by the previous government resulted in increased tariff of electricity. The special assistant said Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Energy to devise a comprehensive mechanism so that increase in prices due to Neelam Chelam's surcharge or circular debt is not passed on to the ordinary people. Dr. Firdaus Sashikawan said the cabinet also discussed the visit of American President Donald Trump to the neighboring country, India. It was informed that defeat of the Indian narrative due during this visit as a victory for Pakistan. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Poverty Alleviation and Social Safety, Dr. Sanya Nishtar, gave a detailed briefing to the Cabinet on the Essas Kefalat program, Langar Khanas and other initiatives, which are the vision of the Pakistan Tariq and South Government to provide support to the vulnerable segments of the society. The Prime Minister expressed satisfaction over the social welfare programs under the Essas program. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Poverty Alleviation and Social Safety, Dr. Sanya Nishtar, has said selection of beneficiaries under the SARS program would be made in a transparent manner. Talking to a private news channel, she said transparency is the topmost priority of Pakistan Tariq and South Government under the leadership of Prime Minister Imran Khan. Dr. Sanya Nishtar also invited researchers and private institutions to come forward and collaborate with the government for the uplift of the poor and marginalized segments of the society. She expressed the hope that the SRS program would bring the deserving segments of the society out of the poverty trap soon. The Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says the American President Donald Trump has demanded of India to play a positive role in the region and extend a hand for the promotion of regional peace and stability. In a statement regarding the American President's visit to India, he said Donald Trump has expressed the desire for peace and stability in the region. The Foreign Minister said peace and stability in South Asia is linked to the resolution of the Kashmir dispute. He said the current Indian government has further complicated the complex issue of Kashmir. The Foreign Minister said India's 5, 5th August 2019 steps have affected the identity of Kashmir and divided it into different parts. Shami Mutkareshi said there has been lockdown in occupied Kashmir for 206 consecutive days and in such a situation how talks can be held. Qatar has invited Pakistan to attend the peace signing deal between the United States and the Afghan Taliban to be held on Saturday in Doha. 
On behalf of the Qatari Foreign Minister, the invitation was extended by the Qatari Ambassador to Pakistan, Sakhar bin Mubarak, during a meeting with the Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in Islamabad today. In his remarks on the occasion, the Foreign Minister said Pakistan and Qatar have played a pivotal role in furthering the Afghan reconciliation process. He said Pakistan welcomes the peace deal between the United States and the Taliban. Shah Mahmood Qureshi expressed the confidence that the peace deal will lead to an intra-Afghan dialogue. The Foreign Secretary of Nepal, Shankar Das Bairagi, called on the Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in Islamabad today. He is leading a delegation for the fourth round of Pakistan-Nepal bilateral political consultations. The Foreign Minister appreciated the holding of bilateral political consultations, which gave both the countries an opportunity to exchange views on important international and regional issues. The two sides resolved to enhance high-level exchanges and strengthen bilateral economic cooperation. This is Radio Pakistan. The Minister for Railways, Sheikh Rashid Ahmed, has said the entire Pakistani nation stand by the Chinese people who are passing through a difficult time in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak. He expressed these views during a meeting with the Chinese ambassador to Pakistan, Yao Xing, who called on him in Islamabad today. During the meeting, the two sides also discussed the ongoing projects between Pakistan, China, and agreed to accelerate the pace. The Commander-in-Chief of the Egyptian Armed Forces, General Mohammed Ahmad Zaki, called on the Chairman, Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee, General Nadim Raza, in Rawalpindi today. During the meeting, both the sides deliberated upon various areas of interest, bilateral cooperation, including security, counter-terrorism and the prevailing regional environment. The Minister for Human Rights, Dr. Shirin Mazari, says Pakistan will continue to play its constructive role in the elimination of terrorism and promotion of regional peace and stability. Addressing the 43rd session of the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva today, she said all the minorities residing in Pakistan, including the Hindus, Sikhs and Christians, enjoy complete religious freedom. Dr. Shirin Mazari said the innocent Kashmiri people are being deprived of their basic human rights by the Indian forces in occupied Kashmir. The American President Donald Trump has again offered to mediate between Pakistan and India on the Kashmir dispute. Addressing a joint press briefing with the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi today, he said Kashmir has been a thorn in lots of people's sight for a long time. The American President said he will do whatever he can do to help because his relationship with both the leaders, that is Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is so good and and if anything he can do to mediate, he will certainly do. In India, 10 people, including a policeman, have been killed in Delhi in protests against the controversial new citizenship amendment law. According to the police sources, 48 police personnel and 98 civilians were injured in the communal clashes at Jafrabad, Majpur, Chandpath, Khoreji Khas and Bhajanpura. On the other hand, curfew has been imposed in these cities. Meanwhile, Section 144 has been imposed in Uttar Pradesh's Ghaziabad over continued violence in New Delhi. The United Nations Security Council has called on all the parties to maintain the support for a two-state solution to the Israel-Palestine conflict. Statement by Belgium, which holds the rotating presidency, said council members reiterated this support for a negotiated two-state solution with two democratic states, Israel and Palestine, live side by side in peace within secure and recognized borders. And now cricket. The eighth match of the Pakistan Super League 2020 will be played between Multan Sultans and Peshawar Zalmi in Multan tomorrow. The match will start at 1900 hours Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is likely to prevail in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.